When it comes to the silver screen, there are some cap and gown ceremonies that we just can't forget. I, uh, um. <clears throat> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 graduation scenes in movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable, entertaining, or emotional graduation moments from film. No offense to Aristotle, but in my three years at Harvard, I have come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law. Number 10, Graduation Bites, The Twilight Saga Eclipse. Most people only get to graduate once, but if you're one of the Cullens, it's same old, same old. Joining her vampire boyfriend in graduating, Bella wasn't just excited to be finishing high school. The ceremony itself marked her getting one step closer to her ultimate goal, becoming a vampire just like Edward and joining her sparkly family for eternity. After a few decades, everyone you know will be dead. Problem solved. While the valedictorian speech discussing the future and what it held for the grads was given, the shot panned out to the Cullens seated in the audience. This isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions. This is the time to make mistakes. Take the wrong train and get stuck somewhere. Fall in love. A lot. <laughs> At this point though, they could probably run the ceremony themselves. So make as many mistakes as you can. That way someday when they ask what we want to be, we won't have to guess. We'll know. Number 9. Spidey Graduates – Spider-Man Learning to use his powers for good while still recovering from the shock of his uncle's death, Peter Parker's graduation ceremony was bittersweet. After speaking with his Aunt May, Peter is approached by Norman Osborn and almost creepily congratulated on his science award and success. I know this has been a difficult time for you, but I want you to try to enjoy this day. Assuring him that he's a member of the family and to call him if he ever needs anything, Osborn put both Peter and audiences on edge with his slimy smirk and his cold congratulations to his own son Harry just moments before. You made it. It's not the first time I've been proven wrong. Congratulations. Marking the beginning of a new adult life for the superhero, Spidey tossed away the carefree high school years to start his career of fighting baddies. You're like a brother to Harry. That makes you family. And if you ever need anything, just give me a call. Number 8. Graduating from the University of Alabama, Forrest Gump. College ran by real fast because I played so much football. They even put me on a thing called the All-America Team, where you get to meet the President of the United States. Like most of the scenes in this iconic film, Forrest's innocent commentary on this snapshot of his life made it more special than simply watching it ever could. After scoring a football scholarship to the University of Alabama and making the All-American Team, Forrest receives his degree to the delight of his mother. Shrugging off college as just, quote, playing football for five years, Gump's graduation had his mother shedding tears of pride. Marking yet another turning point in his life, an army recruiter offers Gump an informative pamphlet, sending him off on his next adventure only moments after he received his diploma. Congratulations, son. Have you given any thought to your future? Thought? Number 7. Over the Moon, Patch Adams. What's that? You don't? I don't either. <laughs> Let's find out. Taxi! <laughs> <laughs> After all of Patch's antics throughout the film, it would have been a disappointment not to see him pull off one more stunt on his final day as a medical student. After a long battle to receive his diploma, Patch finally earned the title of Doctor, receiving his degree to thunderous applause from friends and peers. Dr. Hunter Patch Adams. <laughs> But just as he is congratulated for finally having conformed to the rules, Patch takes his final bow to reveal his bare backside, his robe cut down the back like a hospital medical gown. Walking proudly down the aisle with his bottom hanging out, Patch went out the way he came in, making people laugh. Number 6. The Real World. Say Anything I've glimpsed our future, and all I can say is, 
Go back. <laughs> Most valedictorian speeches are full of ambition, hope, and a message of a future seen through rose-colored glasses. But in the address given by Lloyd Dobler's love interest in this film, she delivers a strong dose of realism to her classmates. We all know what the answers are. We want to be happy, go to college, work hard, maybe raise a family. But what if that doesn't happen? Confessing her fears about the uncertainty of the future and showing that even someone as brainy as she is can be afraid, Diane Court inspires her peers to think just a little harder about where they're going in life. But when I think about the future, the truth is, I am really scared. This leaves her audience silent and lost in thought. As Lloyd marvels over the color of her eyes and the clunky camera's roll, Diane gives the audience both on and off screen something to think about. Number 5. Birthday Suit Grad. She's all that. Never back out on a bet. My bet? My a bet? Am I a f***ing bet? After Lainey finds out about the terms of Zack's bet with Dean, she's not about to let him duck out, despite having forgiven him. Zack? What? About the bet. Yeah. What were the terms, anyway? You'll see. I never back out on a bet. Wearing a sly smirk on his face while covering himself up with a soccer ball, Zack fully honors his promise of walking naked during the graduation ceremony by tossing the strategically placed ball at Lainey when his name is called. Zachary Siler. Hearing the other students breaking into hoots and whistles, as well as seeing the smile on Lainey's face blossom, made these final moments of high school the perfect ending to this teenage romance. Number 4. Never Give Up – Crazy Stupid Love Not all graduations have to be from high school or college. Sometimes middle school graduations are just as monumental. And love? That's the biggest scam of all. After a pretty depressing speech from his young son Robbie, Cal decides to step in and revitalize his son's belief in love and looking forward to the future. There is no such thing as one true Stop! Love. Giving a tear-jerking address about the importance of never giving up on the one you love as well as recounting his romance with his estranged wife Emily, Cal manages to redeem himself in the eyes of his friends and family. I have loved her even when I've hated her. Only married couples will understand that one. The future isn't always about careers, degrees, or diplomas. Sometimes it's about finding the one you were meant to be with. But I can promise you this. I will never stop trying. Because when you find the one, you never give up. Number 3. Yahoo for School – Billy Madison After successfully completing his grade school years as an adult, Billy's final address to his class was classic Adam Sandler humor. I graduated. It's over. I did it. I know most of you are saying, hey, any idiot could do that. Well, it was tough for me, so back off! Passing on the opportunity to rule his father's multi-million dollar hotel chain to a trusted colleague, and announcing he is going to continue his education and become a teacher himself, Billy showed that no matter how late you pursue it, education can be for everyone. Yahoo! Yahoo for school! Yahoo for me! With parting words we all wish we could have given at our graduations, Billy spoke for all of us with his final line. Peace, I'm out of here! Number two. Once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. High School Musical 3, Senior Year. Ladies and gentlemen, our singers! It was truly the end of an era. After Troy delivers his stirring speech about following your passions in life and never being scared to be who you truly are, the entire HSM gang got together one last time for a performance that rocked audiences' socks off. With a blur of red and white gowns and some impressive choreography, the crew sang a rendition of High School Musical. Celebrating their years in high school and how wonderful their experiences had been, the grads wanted the rest of their lives to be just like their high school musical, and viewers couldn't blame them. 
Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I think Margaret Chan would want me to have some water right now. Oh, they've invited you back. Uh, you think they made a mistake? I do. <laughs> Fight for what matters to you, no matter what. Because even if we fall short, what better way is there to live? This is so perfect. Amanda Beckett is single. And on the night of this party, a party I'll be attending, a party she'll be attending, it's all falling into place. It's like, it's like it's fate. Number one, class of 2004, Legally Blonde. Ladies and gentlemen, L. Woods. In one of the most memorable and inspiring speeches given to Harvard grads, Elle Woods comes out on top once again with her address to her fellow law graduates. Empowering others with her words, Elle's message about believing in yourself and persevering despite setbacks reminded us of her journey of fighting her way through law school. You must always have faith in people. And most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Audiences at home applauded along with the grads as Elle finally reached the end of said journey, while everyone she knew got exactly what they deserved in the end. Congratulations, class of 2004. We did it! You go, girl! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.